What's up, YouTube? It's Michael here. Today I'm gonna make a, a little app review slash comparison of two application, which is going to be Camtasia and Screenflow. As you may already know, Screenflow is the application that I use all the time to record all my videos uh, of my screen. So most of them, like 90 percent, 99 percent, I'm really used to Screenflow. I like Screenflow a lot. I know all the features, how to use them, and Camtasia came out recently which is a kind of a not a copy of Screenflow but like a concurrent like it's there are some pros and cons you have in Camtasia which Camtasia has something Screenflow doesn't have but Screenflow has something Camtasia doesn't have and Cam you may like Camtasia uh, so that's why I'm making a preview right now so I uh, previously made already um, some video here with Camtasia this is Camtasia as you may notice, it looks a lot like ScreenFlow. Uh, you've got your canvas in the middle, and you've got your timeline timeline here. So here you got your canvas. You can make it bigger or smaller with your uh, mouse wheel, which is kind of... I think that's not that handy, because in ScreenFlow, when you use your mouse wheel, it basically made the media larger, but now it only makes the canvas larger, which I don't like that much, but that's a con for me. Anyway, after I uh, let's go in the feature features. So first off, here you have media and library. This is uh, the tab where you add media. So I already added my intro here. So I'm gonna add my intro. There you go. I'm going to uh, drag this right over there. So there you go, and. Um, now basically we've got the timeline here. Oops, there you go. Let me arrange that. There you go. Okay, so this is the timeline. This is the canvas, and this is everything like all the options you can have. And there are also extra advanced options in this side, which I'll talk to you later about that. So basically here you've got your media and library. Library uh, is to add arrows, curved arrows, skinny arrows. Uh, speech bubbles, squares, thought bubble, all things like that. They're already pre-made, which is quite nice. So you can just drag that to the canvas and you've got your bubble there. Uh, then we've got this other tab, video effects, where you have transitions, filters, and actions. So there are some cool things about this. This is all pre-made. I think this is kind of a pro of Camtasia, which ScreenFlow doesn't have. So I'm going to try use a... Uh, a transition I'm going to show you how how that works so I'm going to use let's use fly in out I'm going to put that on my intro and now I'm going to scale my intro here a bit so it goes full screen now I can move this to the transition and you'll see the the media snaps automatically to where it's supposed to go so now I basically got a transition between my intro and my a clip here, so I'm just going to show you that. So as you saw that fade in there, it slide out, uh, and I came on my screen. So there are like a lot of different um, transition here you can choose off, so uh, you can choose whatever you want. Uh, then the filters, which is basically yeah, a filter, so you can add color, just man, colorize, drop shadow, a glow, or a reflection. Reflection, I like to put that on my eyesight, so I can just show you that right now. Reflection on my eyesight, as you see I've got some reflection here, uh, which I think is quite cool. Here if I go to the advanced option, I can change the opacity, the scale, the rotation, uh, X, Y, and Z. Uh, the position and the volume of uh, the sound, well, my voice. Uh, so, there are some cool options there, which I did not find yet. Maybe it's not a feature. Is the transparent, uh, I mean, the reflection here I've got on my built in eyesight. Uh, I cannot, like, make less reflection or more reflection, but I think that would be possible, but I don't know. I did not find out how to do that yet. So that's for the filters. Oh yeah, what I also like is Windows Spotlight, which is a nice feature. So you can just go on your screen, put Windows Spotlight filter on, 
and then when you'll see now the whole screen is blurry except for my button eyesight so now I go somewhere where I got my window here there's a window popping on my, on my screen here and you'll see that everything is blurred out except for the window uh, so it does that for all windows which are foreground windows so if I open another window it will open up that one here I've opened a new one it's gonna focus on that one I think that's quite cool uh, here I open some new one and all, every time it focuses on the window which you're focusing on uh, with your screen recording so I'm gonna remove the filters